Right, hello. Okay, so I'm going to continue with uh, the stuff I was doing uh, the other day. Actually, uh, did I change this? Okay, so yeah, um, I have a, a few issues. Last session uh, with SDL. Uh, because I did an upgrade of SDL and I didn't check things and then some stuff was broken and Haskell and server was failing to do things and stuff so yeah I think I got my workaround back uh, because I'm, I'm developing uh, on Debian so the version of it of the SDL library that I use is a little bit old um, so yeah anyway it should be fine today. So let's see if I can finish what I started last time. Um, I've been doing other things, so I haven't touched this since then. Um, so the player cannot be killed for now with this, but I think we had most of the stuff already in place. And the enemies don't jump in the green stuff that is deadly for the most part and um, so i left a comment here mm, don't jump down onto deadly blocked what does it mean oh i know what it means okay so let's say that so let's try to get that situation let's let's make that happen so if we put blocks here, I'm going to put the shadow as well because aesthetics. Uh, and then uh, we say this is blocked. Uh, no, but we went with the yellow color. Yeah, I changed this the last time. Okay, so that is blocked. So let's move some entities. So we have two runners. We don't care about the robot because the robot can go down. But let's see if these two ro uh, runners try to go down. Uh, let's make the test easier by blocking this as well. I mean, we don't really need to make it look nice because it's really, I mean, as long as it's blocked, let's try that. Let's do it nice and blocked we say that this is blocked now so oh we, we want to be sure that they go down right so let's move the slime all the way and for now let's so so this is blocked as well now although i didn't put up a, a tile in there uh, so these runners won't be able to go up and eventually they will try to jump down uh, which is wrong because I want to reduce that issue, but so they shouldn't do that. We don't want them to do that. Uh, okay, so I just say there again, yeah, it doesn't need to come back. Yeah, right. So those two guys eventually, yeah, they try to get down and then they get stuck because, right, we don't want them to move down to deadly water or whatever is that green thing I, I draw, right? So I put a note here. So that is something broken, really. So I guess it has to look similar to what we did, right? So try jumping on or turn. So jumping, which is gravity up here. So is this is this part here? So that's not going to happen because the deadly area is also blocked. So they're never going to try to jump here because they don't have space to land. But in this case, we need to do something similar. So... This is for the state machine, you know, uh, I don't know if it's valid, but 
yeah basically there is a counter and we can see it in action here where you know when they go left you know every time they, they touch a wall there is a counter that increments and when it gets to two they need to make a decision and you know there is priority in going up but we can't so they end going down um right so it's not blocked so we use the center point of the sprite and yeah i mean it's going to be similar to what we did here with deadly floor right but to move it down because no it really doesn't matter let's leave it there so what we need to do is if it's not blocked and and it's not deadly floor deadly floor right so check deadly floor and x plus ooh am i seeing something no that's okay yeah because this is when you move right and left so the the x coordinate is was different so okay so the center and then entity y plus 24 plus 8 okay so so now it's going to check that when it tries to go down this well it, uh, so it's going to land here so this can be blocked and we're also going to continue down and check that there is no deadly floor after that one. Is that correct? I mean, yeah, I think it is, but I need to think about it because uh, th this testing is not going to show us. I mean, yes, they shouldn't go down. And they go down, so it's wrong. <laughs> so close. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's not deadly flaw, right? Because if it's deadly, we don't want them to jump into deadly floor. All right. So that's it. They don't jump in that floor anymore. What if this is not deadly floor anymore? For example, in here, we know that because of the counter, it was trying to jump down here in, in this side. What if we say that is the other side where it's not that deadly, deadly floor? So they don't try to get down there, but then they try. Yeah. I think this is fine. Uh, all right, okay, let's. let's rewind a little bit. Okay, so that is fixed. Now, I think because this is a runner, it also affects the other guy, the other guy, uh, which is the tracker. Uh, because uh, the tracker is comp so the tracker is basically the runner plus some extra behavior. So I don't think we need to change that. So this is the enemy's understanding the floor, the deadly floor. Okay, so uh, let's take a quick look because I think I fancy doing a comic now and do do the player behavior in a different commit so so this is because we are we had we had to add a, another function here to check the map is if it's block, block deadly then the runner yeah because yeah so this is the runner which is the code we're looking at at the moment which is when you go left and right it checks that you know if it's deadly block, a deadly floor, it never tries to jump down 
and it turns around and also when jumping down when jumping up we don't need to worry about because what we've seen here is going to be solid so there's no landing space here so it's not going to try to do it right okay so that's going to be okay uh right so and the tracker is just it needs to pass the same function and then pass through to the runner because the runner uses that cool and the map uh okay so there's some magic numbers here um let's see what we can do about this so this is the map the map it only added the is block deadly as an external you know as a public function but i think we made some of the changes right um no no that was part of previous change could it be oh no because at the end i made it very simple uh so basically it's just a block layer uh, the only difference is that you know blocked is any any tile so so it's only this layer so any tile that is that is used as opposed as nothing right is going to be blocked and then one of them which is this one with id 29 is deadly and the question here is do i really care about the magic number because i was thinking can the map tell me which block is deadly and i think i got to the conclusion the other day that it really doesn't matter because somehow i need to say that you know 29 is deadly the only difference is that uh, it could be controlled by the map but because it's only going to be me making maps who cares? I don't care. So it's okay. Right? I mean, it's like this frame delay. I don't need to control that with the map data. I think it's fine. Um, check for collision detection base versus deadly block. Deadly block tile. Highlight, uh, so deadly, uh, in the block, highlight, yeah. Uh, 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 um, right. And that's it. I mean, it looks pretty similar. The only difference is that it's checking for the deadly tile. Everything else is the same. So. I think, yeah, didn't, yeah. Okay, so I think we can actually with this. Okay, so that's for the enemies. Now we need to think about the player. So, um, the player, what are we going to do with this? Um, so I think to start with, we need to know if a, if a block is deadly or not right so we're going to pass another function i mean it's the same thing that we did with the uh, how, how did i call it in the other one just to use the same is blocked daily deadly okay it makes sense because it's blocked and also deadly i guess not always makes sense right so and it's going to be this um, uh, 
Ja, aber das ist eine Twilight. Okay. I mean, it's the same type, right? And this is not what 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 I am doing. This is not the one I need to change. Is to start with the subtape player, right? So is and the question is where I need to check this. Um, I guess we are interested in, in when we update the gravity, right? Because because we can't jump up, right? Did I save? No, I didn't save. So we can still run the previous version. Cool. I think. No, I have saved already. Ah, all right. Um, okay, I guess we can. So this is the only one that doesn't have use for now. But when we spawn the player here, yeah, it's going to be complaining. So because we need to buy is block deadly with a the map. There you go. So that should make every everything happy. Right, so what I was saying is that it's still going to be the gravity and it's only going to be down, right? Because you can't really get in and you can't, I mean, that's part of the, le of the level design. I don't think I'm going to make it so... No, it doesn't, it's not never going to be like that. So you can't really walk into the water. You need to fall down. So it's going to be the gravity down. Always the gravity down. So it's really cool. Wait a minute. That's a common thing that everybody's using. Oh, right. Okay. So I was thinking, oh, maybe. Maybe this makes what? So okay, so the the enemies are using this code, but the un, the enemies are using this code, but the enemies avoid jumping in the in the deadly thing, the deadly water, right? In the map hazard or whatever. Um, but in the case of the player, the what we need to do is different because it's not about the player avoiding it. It's uh, the game detecting if the player actually touched it, right? So I guess um, I guess Ooh, the light again in the garden. Let me see, maybe we have another hedgehog. No, it was very quick. Hmm. Could be a cat or something. Anyway, uh, I need another camera pointing over there, just in case. That is visit on the stream. Yeah, again. Let me check. I'll be back. Let me see, let me see. Oh, it's a cat. A black cat. Disappointment. It's not the hedgehog. Hmm. And obviously the cat is around. I don't think the high school is going to be here, right? Cool. Well, you can always have. It's not always that you're going to have a high school anyway. Cool. So, um, update gravity. So I think we can just. You just check for deadly, deadly here, right? I mean, it's going to be super simple. So, so it's block deadly. Um,
Oh, I don't know. Um, we can do... So, the gravity check. The gravity check deadly. <laughs> Why not? So, what is the gravity? The gravity is block entity entity. Right. Okay. So, so now it's going to be is block is block entity entity. If I can type. Okay, so, so, yeah, because we need to pass that, so it's block deadly and then the entity. So, this is going to be. Okay, so update gravity is blocked, uh, and this is not IO. So, so update gravity is blocked with the entity, and then after that, we basically. So Yeah, I'm thinking I don't know how to do this. So so basically update gravity is going to return an E. So I guess we can do if it's blocked. So where So we can do this. So the gravity and then we can do uh, So we could be doing this and then so we do if Is block deadly and then we check update so what is updated is the entity right so I guess uh, it's going to be X right plus 8 uh, and then 74 which is but it's just after the player then there's something otherwise something uh, yeah. Okay, so in this case, we need to do something, which is we need to add an. Okay, so how do I do this? Because I think we need to do an action. Mm, okay, so the player, the player could be updating itself. It could be updating itself, really. So no, I think it's not okay. So let's use the action. Let's use the action. So and for now, let's do that, and then we need to improve it because it's not going to be. It's going to be not good. The result. So this is going to be actions. And then we are 
an action deck which is action action hit player and actually uh, we need to we need to take into account that there could be other actions hmm I wonder if we need to take care of that because oh okay it depends on the order right so the first one running is day frame then it goes backward so the only so yeah so I don't think the day vertical is going to find any actions coming right so that's I think it's okay um so day gravity check deadly that's a new action um which is basically saying that the player was hit. All right, so this should be doing something. What we know is wrong because the player is going to still be in the action, right? Okay, so it's going to do that. And it's not doing it. Why not? Because the uh, is blocked deadly is wrong. So we are just here. Right? Okay. So let's hide the overlay. Yeah, okay. So we are just over um, so the character has, I don't know what to do this, I don't know why it's, oh, because, yes, yes, because I'm not using the right, yes. all right, so let's do that again, yeah, and it kills other lives, because, uh, this yeah <laughs> okay that's pretty good i mean it's not great so it's wrong but it's also very very wrong because this should be world different so how do we do this? So it's blocked that lead. And what? And yeah, because we are the Yeah, I think it's because it shouldn't happen, right? So so basically this runs all the time and it's not going to give a chance of it's not it's not honoring the the fact that we are invulnerable right so while the other enemies are for example so if i don't remember how it works let's find out so, um, do I have a render player here? Yes, it does a blinking somehow. Anyway, so there is something missing here. We need to check something as part of this. So, so the dying set is when we are dying, which prevents the controls from being used. So that's one thing. Now, do we have anything here telling us that... Yeah, my wife is here. We had a cat today, not a hedgehog. No. Yeah, I know. Cool. So, we need to find a way. How do I know that the player is being hit? I don't remember right now. 
So let's take a look to the entities. So render visible, blah, 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 no. So there is a render here. So. Yeah, we use the state, which is pretty bad. That's not good, is it? Because I don't have the state here. So the player doesn't know about the game state. That's why we use the actions to communicate things to the entity manager, right? That kind of sucks. Because this is going to be triggering all the time, right? And okay, so that's pro this is probably because it's been always wrong. Uh, but I got away with it for a while, but this is not right. So when we update the entities, and we process the actions. Yeah, this is when we do the action, the, the actions that can change state. And okay, so why the entities behave differently when the players hit hmm? somewhere? So this is the one where we change the hit delay, but it's part of the state. No part of the player. So yeah, there is something you know, not enemy. I don't remember how this works. Which is again, that means that I need to finish the game <laughs> soon. And then this one will be better because I'm not going to make the same mistakes, but I don't want to rewrite things here. So yeah, they filter state delay, there you go. This is the problem. So the day filter basically yeah that's hit delay. Yeah, it's not an enemy with date otherwise we don't dead enemies. So it's the state. And that sucks because um, the player doesn't know that it's been hit. Uh, okay, it's, this is not what I was planning to do. Okay, yes, I was planning to do it, but I was planning to do it incrementally, right? So what I wanted to do is Okay, I get hit, I'm invulnerable, I can walk around the water, but then that is not going to happen because I'm going to respond the player on whatever. Uh, because even if you are invulnerable, I don't want the player to walk on water, on toxic water. So that's, this is okay. If you are invulnerable, but you jump on the water again, you should lose another life. So this is okay. Now, what is missing is when I create the action, this is not the action we need to use. We need to say uh, action player Player hit deadly. I don't know. Okay, so player action hit player deadly. Why not? So in the entities, why 
one is not in the entity, so it's going to be a new one. And and this sucks because it's the same, so Um, all right, okay, so So this is going to be a function now I think So this is going to be a Let's just play a hit action No, not not a big fan. So, and what is going to receive this? It needs to receive. Mm, yeah, because I don't know what is this. <laughs> okay, so S is going to be a state. Okay, let's do that. So it's going to be. We need a state. We need a list of entities. No, wait a minute. No, we just get a state. So the entities come now. We need a list of entities, a state list of entities. And that is going to return, yeah, state and so and a list of entities, I guess. So state and entities why not so and we don't process actions we just want the result of this complain about this because we're missing something could you match entity with actual type entities uh, sorry what so ends I don't get it uh, so oh sorry It's a list of entity. Okay. It's a little bit ugly, but it's doing what it needs to be doing. So, so this is going to be now um, process fair hit action, and we pass the state and. And the entities. We don't need all these. And in here, it's going to be it's going to be almost the same. So we process the hit action. So all these rules apply and actually we're going to fix something um, 
Because if it's game over, we're going to override the heat delay. Okay, so it's going to be the same with that fix. So now we lose all the lives if there's the death animation. We shouldn't be invulnerable and the enemies shouldn't be frozen, right? So that is something that needs to change. Because despite what everything we're doing here, nothing prevents that we respond the player. Okay, so that's the behavior I was expecting. When you run out of the lives, hitting the deadly goo, right? So that that makes sense. Now, let's look at, at the player. So the player doesn't have specific data, but it's going to have now because the player data is going to have uh, what? It can be uh, save X. Say why or something like that. Oh, X save. X X X save. Why? No. Okay. So check why. I don't know. It's a checkpoint. I'm trying to do a checkpoint so check x check y something like that okay so so this is going to be now player data and we're going to pass x and y to start with And for now, it could be enough for the test. So, all right. So we know Okay, so we need to do this <laughs> because the player is the first entity. Right? And that's that's fine. So I think it's fine. Is it? How do we do this? Um, um yeah, let's do something here with the entities, right? So we can do the head of the entities. Then we do something with it. It's going to be X. No, this is going to be awful. I don't like it. Let me think again. So first of all, if I can do it, if life is zero, hmm? so I need to check the state, right? So how do I do that? Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So it doesn't look too awful. I mean, I can do basically... <laughs> this, right? So... So if, if a state...
is bigger than zero, zero then we do the all this stuff, right? Okay, so we can do the player is the head of entity. So we can do player and then we do x equals the player dot uh, I don't know how this works. So yeah, I mean it's a player data, right? So y equals player dot why? No, I can't do that because it's not a player. Oh. It's just an entity, right? So this is just an entity. So we need to do something different here. Okay, let's think. Let's think about this again. We do a case, I guess. We can okay, so uh, the checkpoint, and we'll see an entity, and we'll return an entity. Called P. And it's going to return a P. And what it's going to do is in here we can do player to checkpoint head ends Right. All right. Okay. Why not? Um, uh, this is not correct. We also need the state, right? Uh, no. We can actually check for. We just need the lives. Um, so we could be doing do, 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 do. I guess we can do this. Uh, and here we can do uh, something like this something like this I think I'm going to pass the lives instead it looks nicer and so So we can do this. I equals zero. Then just do just do P. Um, I never remember the index of this. Then otherwise. Then we do stuff with P. So P is going to be, we're going to change it. We're going to say X equals to P. Uh, uh, 
No. Right? Because entity is an entity and the entity data we need to get the right one, right? Is that right? Is that right? So that means oh man, I don't know how to do this. Um What did I do when I used the entity data in other places? Uh, the runner has entity data, right? I don't remember. What did I do? No, uh, no, 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 no. It is it's not the, the runner. It is the shooter, the one that has... What? Well, and the runner as well. So let's look at, look at the runner. So runner data. So where do I use that? Do I use that at all? Oh, yes. So it's as simple as that, man. How did I call it? I call it um, check x and check y okay. and y equals to t that and y well all right that's right so that should move the player to the checkpoint that for now is where we appear which is not what we want to do but Let's try that first. And it should work fine with the player hit action and everything. So if I do this. Yeah, I think it's fine. And then when I don't have lives, it doesn't go to the checkpoint. Cool. I have seen something I didn't like. Spray one of the enemies was thrown under the battery. Yeah, okay. So let's, let's add that. Maybe. Cool. All right. So, so this says the checkpoint, but we don't want that to be the checkpoint. We want the checkpoint to be set when when we do this. So, okay. As updated. Not quite. <sighs> so let's change this a little bit. What happened? Okay. So it's block deadly. Do this. Otherwise this and here what we're going to check is so what entity what why is what is offering me offering me that so it should be um it should be e gravity. Equals to So basically um so blocked 
deadly blah 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 gravity is off so okay so since if it's deadly we we you know we kill the player fine um but if the gravity is off uh, which is not maybe it's not exactly but let's say that it's off right so we're touching the 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 ground i mean ideally well let's see because it means that when we work we're going to change the checkpoint that may not be ideal but so what we can do now is we can do this player data and then we say we do this so now yeah but i don't like it because when if we walk into the water if i walk into the water see it's going to respawn me in the last place We don't want that. We don't want that. So the gravity was off, but it was falling already. Let's take a look how gravity works. How gravity works. Let's find out. So... Hmm. It is weird because... Updated this after we apply gravity, right? So, and then apply gravity, it's going down, it's going up, oof. What can we do about this? See, what I mentioned on the previous session was that we could be setting the checkpoint when we hit the floor so we could be saying an e gravity is not so before we apply the gravity sorry in the wrong in the wrong language so before we apply the gravity we were falling and after we touch the ground that means that if i do this and uh, that's not what i wanted why sending me back there because this is never happening right Oh, 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 maybe that's why it was working wrong. Okay, so maybe, yeah, that was a bug. So it turns out it's not bad. I still don't like the idea that you can be running at the edge and it send you here, right? It's a checkpoint. But it's kind of, it's not a, not a great checkpoint, right? You're not in the safest place ever, right? Not great. So what if we try the other bit? I mean, it's still not, I don't think it's perfect. Hmm. 
I don't know. What would it be better? Uh, what if we do this? Uh, which is not going to be good because it implies a magic number, I think. Yeah, we have a loose hair coded already, so yes, it's okay. Uh, no. Um, okay, so why why not? I mean, we could be centering the player in the tile. Will that work? <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Uh, So how, I, how do I tie a line this? Yeah, okay, so no, mod, mod, uh, no, it's going to give me, that's good, that's not what I want, I want it to be tile a line, so I guess, is this, and then this, right? Or minus is that correct? Numbers, how do they work? Okay. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not, one, not doing what I want. Oh no, he may be doing it, but it's not. 8 is 16, right? Let's see. I mean, if it works and it, and it centers the, the guy in the platform. Although that might not be correct. Yeah, I mean, and the problem is if I do it like this, okay, let's just try again. So it works on one side, but it's not going to work on the other. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, is it worth it though? I think it is. So So Let's get this out. Say no more. say um, if update x more 16 is bigger than 8 then this otherwise And we also could be saying plus and then minus this. What? How many parentheses do we have? Yeah, we don't need parentheses. Fine. I mean, it's okay. 
So this way we center this way and then perhaps I should have less enemies when I'm testing, right? Okay, let's try again. So this is still not possible. Perfect. I need to go now, my friend. I'm not going to let you kill me. There you go. Yeah, but it's still not great because I don't know. Is it worth it for the complexity, really? You can still do that. But yeah, that's fine. I don't think I can do anything better. So, um, so the jump. So, I see two options for now. We set up. We set a uh, the the checkpoint in the tile that we jump, or the last one we hit when. Oh no! I always forget that I had the menu, and I just quit because that's what I used to do. Yeah, I think I prefer the other one. <laughs> Well, you know. I think I prefer the jump. So gravity off and E gravity was not was no gravity off. Actually We can say, doesn't matter. No, there is no other way you can get the gravity off, right? So the only way that you can move to gravity off, um, so the only way that you can get to gravity off is when you hit the ground. So you apply gravity. Uh, it's going, it's going up, it's going down. Uh, blah 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 blah. Gravity off is when it's going down anyway. So, yeah, I think I like it better like this. And also, I was kind of concerned like, going to look good. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Ooh, that was not fine. Wait a minute, what happened there? Yeah, I guess you can get on the edge and it's going to set the checkpoint there. Anyway, I mean, it's super cheap, super, super cheap uh, to implement, right? So kind of, okay, okay, ish. Automatic checkpoints. I think it's going to be this one. Um, so, so what have we done in entities? We got the function and we did a refactor for the actions. Uh, and we added the player to checkpoint, which is basically responding at the checkpoint. Cool. I can't see any problem with this goal. I think it's fine. Okay. For the types, we added the player data, which has the checkpoint. The name of the variables are not great, but I don't like to capitalize, you know, make uppercase the last character song. I don't like it how it looks, so I'm gonna do it like this. And in the case of the player, in the case of the player, yeah, we added the is flop deadly and gravity deadly, which is basically what is checking. Yeah, if we get killed or not, a 
that's the action. Yeah, this looks okay as well. So this is going to be uh, uh, sorry, deadly dogs. So I don't really enjoy this only where yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That was the plan, that was what I was trying to I mean we have I have only one hazard for now. And it's still kind of work in progress because it's not great the graphics that I use here, right? Um, but I think I mean, I mean I'm getting used to it. To be honest, the animation is not great, but I'm getting used to it. Oh, I saw that guy jumping on the on the on the right. Yeah, that's a bug. I need to, to fix that one. Seems like it's jumping too soon and it doesn't have really space to, to go up. So I need to figure out how to fix that. Anyway, so the water, I mean, I'm getting used to it. It's not that bad. Yeah, it did it again. It's distracting me. Anyway, yeah, so the water is not too bad. Uh, so I have improved the checkpoints. I guess mm, we can say more map hazards, right? Uh, and then have some ideas to implement. Like we have toxic water. Yeah. Can we have spikes, field force? But that's the same behavior, right? In reality, it doesn't care. I mean, we can put deadly blocks wherever we want in the block layer, and it will kill the player just the same. So that's just the level design. So actually, it probably doesn't need to be happening now. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm running out of things to do. Uh, so a couple of bugs. I will look at those probably on Thursday, I think. Um, I still have pending the flying enemy that I would like to do. Um, let's see if I have time tomorrow and I draw something and I'm super inspired and it doesn't look terrible. That could be also an interesting thing. Have a flying insect around. Um, okay, so yeah, it, that would be also something that we could be doing on Thursday, but I think, yeah, I'm not sure. I could be doing both. I think the bug for the, the, the tracker enemy shouldn't be too difficult. This one uh, doesn't sound difficult either because it's just sorting the entities when we load them. I think uh from the map the flying enemy should be easy to implement I've actually i implemented that but then i cannot rage rage remove that branch because i didn't like how it was looking but anyway if i can manage to draw something that would be great so i'm running out of things really uh I need to decide, you know, but this requires drawing as well. I mean, I can do some placeholder graphics to implement the status screen with options, maybe. Pause, I think it probably needs pause. Stage selection, I'm not completely sure. That could be something to review, really. Um, tutorial, kind of. Probably not, 
and I'm going to do it. So yeah, it's pretty much done. So things to review that I need to think. Uh, does the stage number need zero padding? Yeah, we might see that later. Yes, the overlay layer is actually needed and we are using it here for the... I just remove it because it looks super weird, but yeah, I'm using the overlay layer currently for the for the water actually the water is in the overlay layer the water animation so yeah looks great cool uh end of the stage a stage clear screen mm, yeah i need to think about that it all is going to depend if I do how I'm going to link the stages, if it's going to be continuous, continuous. So it's going to be like like here that you get a well in this case there is only one, right? But you pick them all and then you get the door and you go to the next stage. That works, but my original idea was to have some sort of uh, high level yeah I mean probably need some some thinking about the padding because I mean we're not going to only have nine stages right so it's going to start look awful when they are 10 okay so yeah that's probably the padding that yeah, we will review that so the end of the stage what I was saying yeah okay so that could be I think um, so we could be transitioning the screens like this and you know I was planning to draw some like um, so rocket or something like a spaceship and then you go clearing the different levels so each level of that spaceship very simple right could be a number of stages or something like that and in that way, because at the moment, the way the game works, the the only thing that you have is progressing, right? You you go, you you know, you go to the next stage, and that's everything we have. So there's no score, there's no time. So you get to the stage that you get. So I was thinking uh doing some brainstorming with my son that we got to the conclusion that ha having time for example could be interesting um so we could you know we could be setting a time limit to clear one level but it would be a number of stages so when you finish that level we could be so in that, instead of stage, instead of level, and her screen, which include could be called bonus based on time, and and yeah, another thing we need to think is about core that. Could be uh, could be by collecting the pickups, maybe. So every pickup gives you points. So at the end, your score is the stage you reach plus your points, or it could be just the points because obviously the, the number of pickups is going to be fixed. So it means that. If you get to stage X, you will have Y points always, right? Uh, yeah, so th this is something I need to think about. And it will, we could be factoring in the time, so, you know, because the game is kind of, it, it has kind of the arcade com component, right? So you need to navigate the screen, avoiding the enemy, you is going to get me, I got you. And other than that, there's nothing else to do, really. You pick up all the 
batteries, the door opens, you go to the next stage. So we could be using the score. And every time you every time you continue the stage, you start with a score zero. So you want to start from the beginning to a higher score, whatever, right? So I need to think about that. Uh, and yeah, this is just things that I'm almost sure I'm not going to do this. Uh, and gamepad selection. I don't know. I mean, at the moment, the way it works, I think it's okay. Okay, so let's get out of the dinosaur. So, let me get the gamepad from, from here. So, at the moment, if I get a gamepad and I plug that in, you know, it shows that it created the, game, the controller. And then, well, the controller works basically. So, and then you can unplug it and it's disconnected. But obviously, I don't know how many people have multiple controllers connected and you may want to use a different one. And oh no, I need to use, I don't know. It may not make any sense really. So, I don't care. And actually, if you connect the gamepad, the, the keyboard control doesn't work. So if you're using the gamepad, you're using the gamepad. Otherwise, you're using the keyboard. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. And I think that the death sprite animation is fine. And I'm used to it now. So at first I thought that perhaps, you know, it could be shaking the legs or something like that. Uh, but now that I'm used to see it, I think it's fine. You don't even have time to see anything really. It's very quick. So less things to draw. Excellent. So yeah, there's not many stuff left. But I mean, from the point of view of the, the engine, then when I start doing the level design, we'll see because I will have to draw a lot of tiles. So there is some, you know, it's not always the same. Um, some variation and and then send the levels and see if this if the game is any fun to play because I think it might be fun but I still don't know anyway so yeah we get in there and then we can start something else with a little bit more planning so the code doesn't go its own way Cool. Well, every, that's going to be all for today. Um, uh, you know, besides this uh, Haskell, um, I have other projects going on right now. One of them is this uh, the the fantasy console thing that is progressing, I think, nicely. Uh, and also. Yeah, we also have the specy game I'm working on, Outpost, that I would like to complete this year. So I should go back to work on that one. And and also I would like to, there is a, a DOS jam coming soon. And I have prepared the kit here to actually, I mean, at the moment it doesn't do anything. I mean, it's just some C code, but uh, it compiles everything and it runs on DOSBox. So, hello, DOS. And I've been reading things, and yeah, I kind of find it because I, I'm using the DG, DJ GPP. I don't know how to pronounce that. I mean, all my life I've been saying this in Spanish, actually. Uh, so. Yeah, DJ G P P. I think it is. Anyway, is I'm cross compiling in Linux uh, for those, and I used that back in the day, like uh, at the end of the nineties. And I, I suddenly I found that yeah, there is I have some nostalgia for that, so I may just knock out a few functions and do something very quick and silly uh, for, for those and maybe submit that to the jam 
it could be something interesting to stream if I have the time to do it and do, and do the jam. It's not, it's not a long jam, but it's not very short either. Do I have that somewhere? Oh, there you go. So how long is the jam? It starts in eight days. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. But yeah, it's from the 1st of July, June, sorry, to 17th of July. So it's quite a lot of, a long time. So if I have a very clear view of what I want to do, uh, I could be knocking out some function, you know, some routines and do something very quickly. Maybe that could be interesting, uh, actually. Um, so yeah, but that it starts in eight days. So I'm not sure. Maybe I might do. I don't know. I mean, I might do a stream session trying to figure out how to put together those routines. I mean, I don't need much really. So reading the keyboard, probably, you know, input for, for, for the player, uh, some way of measuring time um, so I can pin the number of frames per second that I want. Uh, some basic routines to draw things, but you know, it's VGA. It's just pointers to the memory map of the, of the VGA card. It's very straightforward. And some sound, but for the sound I can use a library, so... I don't see it being too complicated. I mean, it all depends what you want to make for the game, right? But it should be possible, so I don't know. I mean, it's eight days, so maybe next week I can do some. I don't know. I mean, I can stream that, but I can do it when when I have time. And if I don't have time, well, I don't do it. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is going to be all for today. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.